So in a little less than three hours from now, uh, the Feast of Trumpets will end and Tishri 2 will start. That alone right there is probably a loaded and controversial sentence as there are people who believe that Tishri 1 actually lasts two days. When in fact, there is a case where the feast is celebrated by people who have not been communicated with that said, yes, the feast day started. You see, they celebrated it and then they celebrated it again the next day just in case. This year, like many other years, uh, especially with communications and so forth, we know what day the Feast of Trumpets started. We know what day Tishri 1 started. We know what day Tishri 2 starts. And that is in about a little less than three hours. If you recall how the way you determine whether or not it's nighttime is by twinkle twinkle little star. So you look at middle magnitude stars. They're basically like the belt of Orion. When you see the entire belt of Orion and you just see that third one, then guess what? It's nighttime and the next day starts. And that's in about a little less than three hours from now. Now, for those who understand that Tishri 1 goes to Tishri 2 and that this is, it's a one-day feast, it's the new year, we don't celebrate New Year's Day on the 2nd, although sometimes on the 1st, there it was a Sunday, and so the games weren't played, and so then you play them on a Monday, the 2nd. It is an extension that is a rare occurrence. So this time we don't have that occurrence. This day is going to end and is on the last, at the last trump, there are 100 trumpets that are blown for the Feast of Trumpets. The last one is a long sounding blast and it ends the day. In less than three hours from now, this year, will the last trumpet be the trumpet of God? We know that there will not be those trumpets blown next to, next to a temple or even on the Temple Mount. We know that. There's not going to be anybody there doing it. Is it possible that those trumpets for this year are in heaven and the trumpet of God is sounded? I don't think anyone could say right now whether or not they know, yes or no. You could say, sure, yes, I know, but you don't because you're not God. You see, and only God knows when that is going to happen. We have not been told the day and the hour of the rapture. We have not been told that anywhere in Scripture. And nobody talked to Paul and asked him afterwards, and, and Paul said, oh yeah, what's well, this day? Okay? Nobody knows. But what we do know is that we live in this time of the end. And it is the end. It is not going to go much further, okay? We all know that everybody actually knows that down deep inside. This isn't going to Star Trek on this path that the world is headed on right now, okay? It's not going that way. And what's interesting is that a great deception will be coming upon this earth after we are removed. And that great deception is going to say that we, the intolerance, intolerant, we're out of here.
we got rid of them. And they will bring their Star Trek to the Earth. The falling Star Trek. And they will come here. And they will deceive many through lying signs and wonders. And you know who those people are. You see who those people are. They're the people in the streets, rioting, looting, tearing down statues. They're the people who educate those people, who basically tell them that the United States is horrible, racist to the core. Every white person in the United States is racist inside, and they don't even know it. <laughs> yeah, good is evil, and evil is good in the last days. We see the people above those people in world governments, in world institutions. <laughs> yeah, they've got your best interests at heart. You know, everyone knows that time is short. And when Satan is cast down, he knows his time is short. He is going to be cast down and woe to those on earth. We who are alive and remain will be caught up together with the resurrected dead in Christ in the air Harpazo watch my previous videos on Harpazo if you already haven't and we will be with him in the air and we'll be with him forever thereafter comfort each other with these words <laughs>